Okay, when drawing vectors, remember that it is an arrow that represents both magnitude and direction. So both had to be very precise. So here we have a vector that is 2.5 newtons, uh, that is the unit for force, and the arrow is pointing north 50 degrees west. So the first thing is use a pencil because you're going to make mistakes. Um, second thing is just get a general idea of the direction of the arrow. This is going to point northwest, which means it'll start right around here maybe, and it'll go northwest somewhere in this direction. We don't know exactly yet. So start by making a starting point on your paper. This is with pencil. Now choose a scale that's going to fit your paper for the vectors. Uh, for example, 2.5 newtons isn't really a thing you can draw, but you can represent it by saying uh, 1 centimeter is equal to 1 newton. So that's the scale we're going to use. Now, we have to look at our directions. It's going to be north and west. What I like to do is just pick the first one and sort of just lightly sketch a reference line right to the north in this case. I'm literally having a ruler and I'm drawing a reference line to the north. This is in pencil so I'll be able to erase it later. Now I'm going to take my protractor over here. I'm going to turn it so that zero lines up with the reference line. So you can see I'm going to take the circle of the protractor and line it up with the line that I drew, the reference line that I drew. So now we have here uh, the circle here, okay, and it is lined up with our north line. Now I'm going to end up going to the west, so I knew I had to set the rest of the, the protractor over here so I could work with this. Now, we can't see it anymore, but it's 50 degrees to the west, so we start with 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, here is 50. So make a little mark right there right at 50 degrees. And I could get rid of my protractor. Now you can't see it, but I'm going to take a ruler and I laid it across my screen here, across your paper, so that I could draw a straight line from the starting point to the 50 degree mark that I made here. And I'm going to look to my scale. I see one centimeter is one newton. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to draw 2.5 centimeters to represent the 2.5 newtons. I'm going to start at my starting point and I'm going to draw one 2.5 newtons. Now I didn't get to my reference dot but that's okay. This is an arrow. This is a vector so I'm making it into an arrow. And I have effectively done. This is my vector. It's 2.5 centimeters long on my paper. It is pointing to the north and 50 degrees to the west, which is exactly what I want. So from here to here is 50 degrees. Okay, This line here is 2.5 centimeters long, which is equal to 2.5 newtons. Okay, So that's my vector. Now I'm going to erase all my stuff that doesn't belong because we wrote this in pencil and these are all references. That's not the actual vector. So here's our actual vector. We're leaving our scale and it is 2.5 centimeters long which represents a 2.5 newtons and it is north 50 degrees west.